Welcome back to our Dream in the Woods. Uh, still making progress as far as milling logs for the timber frame barn that's going to be erected here behind me. Uh, we are at about the 40% mark of having things complete, so it's game on, uh, just kind of plow on log by log. Um, today on the agenda, there's a couple specialty cuts for a covered deck off of the upper uh, second floor of the, the barn that I want to cut. And I'm looking for a couple of big logs. Actually looking for some 8 inch material, so I need an 8x8 and an 8x10. So I think I'm going to target this 19 inch on the small end. That looks like a superb log. And then of these logs, there's only 12 left here. Um, maybe that back one, maybe not. So I might have to target a different pile. So that's another 19 inch log there that's 21 foot. That's nice and fairly straight. So that might be the other log that I'm targeting uh, to try to get. Uh, might be a pain to get to. Um, so we'll see, maybe, maybe not. All right, just getting ready to lay out this log. Figure out what my cuts are. 19 feet long, 19 inches across. So it's one of the nicest logs we have gotten. So I'm looking for a six by, or eight by 10. Um, so there's my 10 mark. Uh, that's the center of the pith. If I go over one, on my little scale here. Come down, come across, and then I come over two. to the five here for my 10 mark. Over two. Something like that. Just double check my math there. 10 inches about and eight inches about. So those lines aren't level, they aren't square by any means, but that just kind of gives me a visual reference when I'm, now when I'm cutting down to here, if I can get a board out of there, I can't, I will. Like my first cut, maybe I'll try to go up two inches and see what the rest of the log gives me. But, so I'll get whatever kind of bonus material out of here. Depending on the log, maybe you won't get anything cut down to approximately there and then I flip it and then I'll do the same thing for this down here and get my 10 inches and then flop it bonus material flop it bonus material so a lot of guys have asked me why I don't just rotate 90 degrees and then cut down to here and I guess my mind is just working in this way cutting the long way no way I can get my 10 inches then cutting the bonus material off each side I think it's an extra flip, maybe causes me to spend more time at it, but my mind is just geared like that at the moment, and so I'm going to continue to roll with it. But eventually, I need to try that, cut this, flip it 90, square it up, you know, and then start taking off um, those sides, but not today.
All right, I made that first cut and yeah, it doesn't look like I messed it up, but I messed it up. I should have paid better attention to the far end. So this is what I'm talking about. So pith is about seven and a quarter down on that side. Let's run to the other side. And the pith on this side is, well, I've actually, yeah, that doesn't matter. Anyway, about five inches down. So it's about two inches out of whack. So I should have, it, it looked nice and level and it, it was, but just you have to pay attention to that pith and where it's at in your log. So my solution to that is I loosened everything up and I put a two inch shim under this down here. So this side is two inches higher. Then I'll come in at the two inch mark here, which will put me about where my line is and then cut it down. And then that should be pretty close to zero on the far end. I'm thinking that that's right. Kind of PVs down there. We'll see. And then Whatever the case is, that will then um, even up those pits to try to get them centered in that in that uh, eight by ten. So let's see how it works. Let's see how I did here. So right at five inches, so centered on a 10 inch side. And yeah, about four and three quarters, so yeah. Good, I think that was worth doing that because if I would have dropped it down two inches, then I'd been two inches here and then that path would have been all over the place. So I do have a crack there. It just doesn't seem like it penetrates too much there. That's gonna affect anything. But flip it, cut her down to 10 inches.
I got that log flipped around and the pith is now centered from side to side. So I'm about ready to start making some cuts. But this blade is getting dull and this is kind of a good time to change blades um, because essentially I'll be done cutting bark. I might have a little bit of bark to hit there. Um, but in general, um, this is my favorite time to cut or to change blades out um, is right now um, just to kind of be cutting wood and no bark for a few cuts anyway till the next log.
Well, there you go. Eight by 10 by 19. I'm a little concerned. I do have a little crack right there. Um, a little worse on the other side, but really I only need this thing to be 14 feet. So I'll just cut that end off when we're ready. But that's kind of officially the biggest timber I've cut as far as dimensional eight by 10. And it's raining again, a little bit of sleet coming down with it. Good thing we really need the moisture, you know, just keep the dust down out here. Be good. Bring it on. Well, there's the haul out of that one log. I've got everything edged up. Um, six two by six by and those are basically 19 feet and then two one by six by 19. Uh, a lot of people ask why i put these four by fours here and why don't I keep this space clear well this is like the valuable real estate so out looking for the right log to cut an eight by eight um, looking at my diameter versus cant so a 12 would get an eight and a half. So I need at least a 12. And then on my cut list, it's 18 feet long. So this is the log I chose. Um, it says 13 on the side there, but basically this is the short side, a little under 13 inches and a little over 13 inches there. Um, so I should be able to get my eight by eight out of that. Uh, fairly straight log, it's 22 feet long, so it's longer than I need. A uh, little bit of a bow there, it's off the, the deck uh, about an inch. So I'll have to keep that in mind. Um, so I'll get that leveled up and start cutting. Well, my other camera is on the fritz. It's too cold <clears throat> for it out here. And normally I can warm it up in my truck, but 
the truck is not out here because I'm trying not to drive on the muddy road. So anyway, this is the the tree I'm trying to get the eight by eight out of. Um, so I centered the pith here. Now, what I'll try to target out of this, since it's eight inches wide, is I need one and a half by eight by tens, and this is a 22 footer. So for each one I can get, uh, should be able to get two boards out of. Um, so that's what I'm gonna try to do as I whittle this down to an eight by eight. So get back to it. There's the big eight by eight beam. Didn't get quite centered down here as far as the pith goes. So I did some miscalculating there, but uh, real nice beam, that's for sure. And her timber or whatever this thing is gonna be. Um, I alluded to making the eight by eight and eight by 10 for a balcony. Um, and that's going to go on the north side of the barn uh, off the second floor uh, kind of over where the, all those um, slabs are so up above that will sit about 12 feet high and it'll kind of have some bra these big 8x8 eight eight braces that'll uh, support about a 4 foot or maybe 6 foot deck yeah, I can't remember anyway um, they're part of the cut list. I wanted to kind of get that complete uh, before uh, I went further. So anyway, pretty good day of milling. I still have a couple to edge. I ended up getting three one and a half by eight by tens. That will be floor joists. Um, so nice to get that material and then all the other material out of that first log. So I just got to throw those. Looks like I got two pieces of one by material to throw up there and edge. That's gonna do it for this video. Uh, my camera equipment uh, kind of froze out on me today, so I didn't get everything I wanted to, but I hope you enjoyed it. And two more logs done, two more timbers, uh, one by one getting making progress. So another good day. Uh, hopefully we can stay ahead of this mud and it doesn't affect us in the future. So. Uh, appreciate you watching and we'll get back to it next time. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.